few weeks ago now, I did a full review on one of these little stand mounted LCD screened microscopes, the kind that you get on eBay. And yeah, overall I found it was pretty good. The screen was quite sharp, it had a useful range of magnification, and it would be pretty handy if you're sort of a person that likes to sort of do hobbies that involve very small objects. Now, these microscopes retail for just over £30, which is pretty good value, but I thought I wonder if there was some way I could get one in cheaper that would sort of do the same job, thinking mainly of sort of kids and stuff like that, something to use on a school project. So I thought about one of these little microscopes that you can connect to the camera on your phone. And yeah, sure enough, when you go on eBay and have a search, you can find out you can pick these phone devices up for about a tenth of the price of the big ones. So we're now talking sort of pocket money prices. And this is the one that I settled on, um, just over three pounds, delivered from the UK, so you don't have to wait that long. Now, when I looked at the sort of spec on this, so it's, it's got a built-in LED light, which is very useful, but it's also got an ultraviolet LED, and I couldn't quite make out what that would be for. But once it arrived and I was able to read the instructions, it turns out it's uh, for checking for counterfeit banknotes. I'm not really quite sure what that's, what that's doing on a microscope, but uh, anyway, then there you know. So this is the device, because it was from the UK, I think this came from Birmingham or something like that, it arrived a few days just after I ordered it, so it didn't have to wait the normal month that you get from China. So inside, uh, very much a Chinese product, of course, comes with uh, some instructions. Now you know what I'm like with these <laughs> Pigeon English instructions, and these ones are mm, sort of okay. There's lots of mispronunciations and lots of spelling mistakes, but it gives you an idea to uh, how it works. It's pretty basic, sort of, uh, anyway. So then we've got the uh, microscope itself. Comes in one of these little cloth bags, which they seem to send you these from China. I don't really know quite why, because you end up just throwing them away. But so uh, yeah, here it is. It's all uh, sealed up in sort of plastic. The uh, whole thing is made of plastic, of course. I don't imagine there's any sort of glass elements in this whatsoever, not for sort of three pounds sort of delivered. But out of the box, it doesn't look too bad, to be honest. Um, sort of white, which will match a lot of sort of phones. It's got these little pull tabs here, so you've got some sort of sort of button cell batteries in there I imagine that's for the uh, LED, sort of LED lights and well yeah and that's a little sort of white LED that seems sort of bright enough and uh, it was, everything was okay until I started to sort of fiddle with this focus on the, so on the uh, side here um, the focus just didn't really move very much it felt pretty sort of jammed and rough and there was definitely something wrong straight away so a very sort of heart sinking sort of moment and yeah, when I look more closer at the uh, optics, um, I could sort of see the problem instantly. It appears that there is a sort of a piece of plastic or something that maybe have broken away from the focus mechanism and obviously jamming it, but it was right across the optical path, making it this thing absolutely uh, useless. So I wasn't going to send it back for just sort of a few quid, so I decided, well, I'm going to have to take it apart. Now, no screws or anything to undo, it just seems to be sort of pressed together. Thankfully, it's not glued, so with a little bit of force with a sort of flat-edge screwdriver, I did manage to eventually sort of prise it apart. And uh, when I did get it apart, well, what I found was that that sort of piece of plastic, at least what I thought was a piece of plastic, turned out to be kind of a metal ring, a bit like a circlip, that was obviously uh, holding the sort of lens element in the sort of focusing tube. And, you know, I'm guessing that uh, being shipped over from China, it's got to have been dropped and knocked about, and it's sort of fallen out. Well, I tried to put, sort of put it back in, but it, there's nothing really to sort of hold it in. Once you pushed it into the tube, it just kind of, like, fell out again. So I uh, just didn't think that was going to work. So I thought it was about time that I relied on some of the old sort of super glue. So just put a very, very, very small amount of super glue around the sort of ridge of the carrier part of the focusing tube, and then very, very carefully inserted the plastic, it's not glass, the uh, plastic sort of primary lens into the tube. Now, of course, you know, I perfectly understand that there's very few people that are going to sort of do this. Obviously, most people just throw it away and uh, sort of grunt and groan. But, uh, you know, yeah, I didn't really sort of want to have to go sort of do this. But it, in fairness, it, it did kind of go back together um, sort of reasonably sort of easily. And uh, once it was sort of back together, the focus sort of did work sort of quite well. Now, how this microscope works is pretty easy, really. It just basically clips over the sort of lens of your phone and as long as your sort of lens is towards the sort of outer perimeter of your phone it will sort of go on sort of no problem it's a little bit fiddly you just have to sort of sort of centralize it and then once you uh, get the sort of lens in the middle you can then use the zoom 
on the sort of phone itself which gives you that maximum of 60 times magnification and yet yeah, yeah, to be fair it probably is around about sort of uh, 60 times I think for once they're sort of being quite honest about that the built-in white LED light is quite essential for once you sort of start zooming in because things can get sort of quite dark and it works uh, pretty well actually I would say it's sort of you know bright enough for sort of most uh, objects so once I've got it working decided I'll sort of try it just on a few sort of household things lying around first thing I tried um, was a few grains of sort of brown sugar now of course um, this being handheld you do find that you have to be how hold your hand very 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 steady it gets very sort of juddery and jittery quite sort of quickly so you do need a steady hand but uh, you know in fairness to be honest it uh, sort of seemed to work quite well and this is a little video clip here I shot on the phone itself and uh, it's a little bit fuzzy around the outside of the lens but the uh, center part is reasonably sort of sharp um, not too bad actually uh, next thing I tried just got this sort of kitchen knife out and I thought I'd have a look at the edge of the sort of blade in sort of close up so you see how badly damaged it was and uh, here once again is the shot taken on the phone now what I did slightly different this time was I sort of reduced the magnification zoom on the phone itself and I think that was a little bit sort of easier so I'm probably dropped down to about 30 times mag here but at least uh, it wasn't quite so jittery and then sort of finally I was thinking that if you were trying to use this in association with a hobby I tried to make some video of a face of a watch now this was a little bit tricky because I had to try and adjust the focus to actually to focus through the watch glass crystal uh, right onto the face itself it sort of came out yeah you know reasonably okay but this was probably the least sort of successful sort of video it was uh, quite difficult to get everything sort of clear in focus but once again here's a little bit that I shot on the phone um, not really good enough I don't think we to upload onto a sort of a vlog or a forum or anything like that so you know in conclusion to sort of sum this up what do I think well it would have been nice if the product would have arrived in a you know usable condition and I didn't have to spend time taking it apart and trying to repair it just that, that little sort of metal C clip um, is a very poor design it doesn't seem to be held in with anything and I can sort of easily understand how that's sort of fallen out they've done better to have sort of glued the lenses in with sort of super glue like I did so that's a little bit disappointing that probably sort of soured the milk of the review if you like but on the other hand it is a very very cheap product just over three pounds delivered you know in the UK you sort of you know you sort of can't knock that but you know overall it gets the kind of thread in the shed well it's kind of a okay product it's all right you know it's not sort of brilliant it doesn't get the thumbs up anyway i hope you enjoyed that um more reviews of silly little gadgets will be in the future but as for now as always cheers thanks for your view time it's always most welcome on fred in the shed and uh, i'll leave a little link a little pop-up at the end of this video if you want to go back and look at the uh, better stand mounted sort of microscope which i think uh, is a much sort of better option but uh, as for now as always cheers thanks for watching hit that subscribe hit that bell notification and of course i'll catch you all on the next one so stay safe